Okay, so morning from a very lovely i360 West Pier. I think Julia's camera shy. It's Julia, <laughs> our star of the day. He's got to make sure he's shot all the time. <laughs> Great sunrise this morning. If you're not out of bed yet, look at that. That's worth getting up for, isn't it? <laughs> so I reckon we're good to go with our warm up. So just jogging on the spot for 30 seconds. Good. So as a member, if you're doing this, if, it's your, um, if you're one of our members, just crack on. If you're not one of our members, haven't filled in a health questionnaire, you do this at your own risk. You can download one of the forms off the internet, off our uh, website, or just email them, we'll send you one. So just nice, easy jogging. So you don't need any kit for this session, but if you've got any, slam balls, med balls, weights, okay, then jumpy jacks. If you've got any slam balls or weights or anything like that, you can use them in this, I'll show you where to add them in just to make it a bit more dynamic. Still going, and it's a heel flex. Okay, and it's some reverse lunge and reach. So step backwards, reach up with the hand. Big stretch up, I'm going to push the hips through at the bottom of the move. Reach up and backwards with the hand. Okay, next one, squat and twist. Big squat, twist, twist to both sides. Squat. Good, and next one, go into a press up position. We're going to step and reach. So step, reach, back, and press up. Remember to look at the hand at the top of the stretch. Step, push the hips into the floor, reach up. And back to running on the spot. Good. Next we're going back into jumping jacks. If you've got room like Julia has, she could do uh, sidestepping. You're at home, jumpy jacks, pushing up with the hands. And back to heel flicks. Just 
15 foot slightly nearly all the way up this time. Okay, let's have forward lunge and twist. So step, twist, and back. Remember, go down straight, come back up straight. So step, twist, back to the middle, stand up. So just twist over your front leg. Step, try and keep everything in line as well. Okay, next one, wide stance, squat and reach over the top. Big squat. Okay, feet nice and wide this time, so you wake up the glutes. Big reach over. And next one, we go back into the press-up position. Drop the hips, stretch out through the abs, then lift the hips, push the heels into the floor, and then <coughs> press up. And we're back to running on the spot, or if you've uh, really got room, you can run up and down. Just watch out for the running. So, knees up, running on the spot, or if, like I said, you've got room, you're in the park or wherever you are, running up and down, just to make it a bit more mobile. to sidestepping or jumping jacks. And mix these up a little bit. You can jump a jack across the screen. <laughs> Push it up. And to the front. And then back in here doing heel flicks. Okay, leg swings. Big arm circles. Remember, reach up nice and high. Big stretch up. And go backwards. Get a big reach. And stretch out through the chest. And change your upper arm. Big pull back. And you've got one more thing to do. So let's do six walkouts into a press up. So walk out on the hands, press up, walk back, stretch. Big stretch. Couple more. Good to go. So if you work, you know, your marker is just between the two mats. 
and I'll talk you through this. So it should be warm enough, warm enough. Right. So our circuit, you've got three things to do. Three things to do for 20 seconds non-stop and we're going to go around five times. So it's basically five minutes non-stop, then rest for a minute. So we're going to do 20 seconds of squats, 20 seconds of half sits, and then 20 seconds of either running on a spot or sprints out here, okay? But I'll talk you through it, and Julia is the model today, the star. Okay, so here we go, first one, squats first, nice big deep reps, let's go. Okay, so you want to make this more dynamic, you can do jump squats. Just make sure your feet are fo pointing forwards, feet and knees aligned. Big deep squats. That's good. Okay, next exercise, half sits. Let's go. That's good. So feet flat on the floor, slide the fingertips just to the top of the knees. Don't come up too high. You're just trying to crunch up. And running on the spot, so either knees up nice and high, or Julia out here, she's going to run forwards and backwards. And into half sits, change. Where the screen keeps freezing, if it does go off, we'll obviously come straight back on again. So this one's half sits. Five more seconds, we're back into the run, or for you guys at home running on the spot, if you're at home indoors. Let's go, change. So nice quick sprints. Knees up nice and high if you're doing this at home. Getting those arms going. Okay, five more seconds and we're back into squats. Normal squats or jump squats this time. Back into half sets, change. Now remember, feet flat on the floor, just crunching up. Shoulders to the floor, crunch up at the top, squeeze at the top of the move. And let's go back to our running, change. So I have a knees up, running on the spot. as fast as you can on the run. I've either run the knees up on the spot here or outside. Sprint hard, sprint hard. Okay, five more seconds. Back into wide leg squats. Three, two, one, change. Just feet wide, feet and knees aligned. Get nice and low. Three, two, one, change. Half six. Getting good quick reps, trying to do as many reps as you can in 20 seconds. 
That applies to all these exercises, as many reps as you can do. Back to our sprints. Three, two, one, change. So get knees up nice and high. We've got one more of these to do. This will be the fifth one. Okay, here we go. A little bit more, a little bit more. Five more seconds. We're back into normal squats. Three, two, one, change. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Good, quick reps. Force those heels into the floor as you do your squat or squat jump. Great, we're at five more seconds. Back into half sits. And change. Okay, and what she's doing here, just crunching up, keeping the small of the back nice and low to the floor. Dig the feet in. So one more set of sprints in five seconds. And then time to rest. Three, two, one, change. Here we go, run it on the spot. Or oh, run it up and down. Good, 10 more seconds. And you get a little bit of a breather. And rest there. Rest for one minute. Give you another quick look at this amazing sunrise. It's a beauty. Okay, so this next exercise, um, Julia's going to do an alternative. I'll do the one you're supposed to do if you can do this. So this is called a pike bridge. Puts a lot of work through the shoulders and through the back of the arms and through the glutes. Julia's just going to use a med ball. She's got a shoulder injury. So she was just going to do a shoulder press if you come behind the mats. I'll do the one in front. So uh, to do the pike bridge, so you want to be in a seated position here, hands by the hips. We're going to pull the hips back and lift up straight. Pull the hips through and lift up. When you come up to the top of the move, make sure you're looking up, not forwards. So when we look at the top, your neck, spine, everything's in line. So I'll do this one while Julia's doing a shoulder press. And then we go straight into plank, okay? So it just gives your arms um, and shoulders a bit of a rest. Okay, and then we're doing jumpy jacks as the third exercise. So it's our pike bridge first. Let's go. If you have got a slam ball, you can either do the shoulder press or slams. Let this pipe bridge look up, push the hips through. So we're working the shoulders and the glutes. And change into the plank. Good, two more seconds with the plank. You find it's 20 seconds quite easy. Try and do plank to press up or plank jacks, whichever one you want to do. Okay, jumping jacks, let's go. So again, with these really good quick reps, going as fast as you can to get the heart rate back up again. Good, five more seconds. We're back into our pl uh, pl pike bridge. So in here, let's go, change. Lift the hips. Pull through, lift the hips. Up straight. Squeeze the glutes at the top of the move. Feeling is really working through your shoulders, through your triceps, and plank change. So remember either plank to press up or plank jacks, or just hold the plank if you need a bit of a breather. Or mix them up. Okay, next we're going to do our jumping jacks. Three, two, one, change. This time push up with the hands, shoulder press with the arms. Good, quick reps. Okay, third one, curve. third round coming up. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, change. Back into a pike bridge. Good, 
Good, plank change. Again, plank jacks, plank to press up position or just hold the plank. It's always good. Lots of exercise variation, trying to make it as dynamic as possible. More variations, fewer injuries. So you're not doing the same thing all the time. Okay, jumpy jacks, change. That's good work. Ten more seconds, so we're back into our pike bridge. There you go, three. Two, one, change. Try to push those hips up. Try to get the hips between the hands, the bottom of the move. Look up at the top of the move. So everything's straight. So five more seconds. And plank, change. Here we go, this one's number four. Three, isn't it? We've cheated you out of one. Jumper jack, shoulder press arms, change. No, that was three. This is number three. I think someone's spying on Boff with a drone. <laughs> okay, back into our pipe bridge, change. Push the hips through. And up, nice and straight. Pushing those hips up. And jumpy jacks, change. Normal jumpy jacks, just fast. Oh, we've got to plank, do that next. Plank next. Good, 10 more seconds, get into a plank. Good. Three, two, one. Change into the plank. Either plank to press up or plank jacks. And we've got one more of these to do. Five seconds. And change. Back to our pipe bridge. Good. Then after this one, we'll go back into a plank in the correct order this time. So five more seconds. And change. Let's go back into a plank. Plank, plank jacks, or plank to press up position. Ten more seconds, then we're into our jumpy jacks, shoulder press arms. change. Yes. That's three, two, one, and rest. Take a minute. Okay, so our next three exercises, we're going to do press-ups. If you can, you can use a step to make it easier, or one of the benches out here, or just normal press-ups. Then we're doing full sit-ups, and then back to sprinting on the spot. But this time, when we sprint, every 10 paces, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, just drop down, touch the floor. So a nice fast beat, drop the floor each time after 10 paces. Just count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and drop. Okay, so press-ups, sit-ups, and sprint. Like I said, if you've got a bench or a step or a chair, you can use uh, that to do the press-ups on. Otherwise, normal press-ups. Okay, here we go. Press-ups first. Let's go. So remember the press-ups, trying to force your hands into the floor, push the floor away from you. Nice straight body. Good. Five more seconds. We're going to do to full sit-ups. Three, two, one, change. So remember, on full sit-ups, dig the heels into the floor. 
Don't let the feet come up, so we're working the uh, abs, not your hip flexors. It's really important you curl your back off the floor. Curl the back off the floor, so again, you're working your abs, not your lower back. Good. Three, two, one. Sprints. Change. Remember, two, four, six, eight, ten, and drop. Fast feet, fast feet. So only about halfway up with the feet. Drop down, change your legs next time. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and drop. So you're feeling this work in the legs as well as the lungs and the heart this time. Three, two, one, press up, just change. So again, trying to do as many good reps as you can. When you can't keep going with full press ups, put the knees on the floor and carry on. Good. Full sit ups coming next in five seconds. Three, two, one, change, full sit ups. Yeah, dig those heels in. Don't let the feet come up. Keep forcing the feet into the floor. Five more seconds. So back to our sprints. Now change. Remember, really fast feet. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Drop. Fast feet. Only halfway up. Use the arms. Go as fast as you can. Really. That's good. Try and change the leg. If you're going to put the left foot on the floor, left hand on the floor, left foot goes back, right hand on the floor, right hand goes back. Press up, just change. This is number three. I'll keep counting this time. I think we did an extra one last time. Ten more seconds, and so we're back to our full sit ups. So three, two, one, change. Full sit ups. Remember again, dig those heels into the floor. Don't let the feet come up. That's the important bit. Curl the back off the floor. Five more seconds. Back to our sprints. Trying to go as fast as you can. Three, two, one. Change. Get speed, speed, speed on the sprints. Right hand down, right foot back. Left hand down, left foot back. So we're basically doing a lunge in between your sprints. Dropping down, touch the floor, bend the knees. Five more seconds into press up. Three, two, one, change. Go big, deep press ups. Again, really push the hands into the floor. Great work, Julia. Good technique again. Really push the floor away from you. Good. Three, two, one, sit ups, change. It's our fourth one. One more to do after this. That's great work. Five more seconds. Back to our sprints. Three, two, one. Change. Again, really fast speed, 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 speed. And drop. Good. Ten more seconds. There we go, around once more. One more lot to do. Good, press ups in three, two, one, change. Only one set of press ups this morning. Not like Saturday's bullseye. Press up eye more like. Five more seconds, we're into full sit ups. Three, two, one, change. Good, 10 more seconds. Last set of sprints on this one. And change. Here we go, nice fast sprints. Great work, well done. Okay, so our next three exercises in one minute time. Okay, this time we do lunges and then flutter kicks. So this is going to lower part of your abs. So obviously reverse, 
or you can do jump lunges. Well, in fact, I'm going to make them different each time. Okay, so we'll do lunge and drive, lunge and uh, different lunges each time. Okay, and the flutter kicks, basically lying on the floor, lift the feet about six inches off the floor, lift the head and shoulders, look at the feet, and small kicks from the hips. Okay, if this pulls in your lower back, just bend the knees slightly. But if this does really pull in your lower back, go back to half six. It's a really good exercise, just make sure it's working your abs. Okay, so feet up nice and high to make it a little bit easier. Feet as low to the floor as possible. Okay. Okay, and our exercise in between, we're going to do alternate squat thrusts. So this one's going to be a bit cheeky. So we do lunges, flutter kicks, and squat thrusts. Okay, going in 10 seconds. So again, 20 seconds on each exercise, going as fast as you can. The first one, we're just going to do normal lunges or jump lunges. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's go, lunges first. As many good reps as you can do in 20 seconds. Try and keep the feet shoulder width apart to help with your balance. Our next exercise in five seconds is our flutter kicks. Remember, kick from the hips. Three, two, one, change. Remember, kick from the hips, feet about six inches off the floor, legs nice and straight, look at the feet, look at the feet. That way it'll crunch you up and work your abs. 10 seconds, we're going to do alternate squat thrusts. Good. Three, two, one, change. Nice and fast with the legs. That's good. Speed with the legs, speed with the legs. Keep those knees close to the floor. Knees close to the floor, keep the hips down, back straight. Next exercise, in five seconds, going to lunge, drive the knee up, all on the right leg. Change, so all on the right leg, lunge and drive, lunge. Drive that right knee up, right knee down, right knee up. Drop, kick. Okay, good, fast reps. Good, three seconds, we're into our flutter kicks. Two, one, change. So kick it from the hips, look at the feet. That's good, body nice and straight, keep crunching up, keep looking at the feet, engage your abs. Good squat thrust, three, two, one, change, alternate squat thrust, again, fast with the feet. Let's legs pumping as fast as you can, keep the knees close to the floor. Ten more seconds, we're back into lunges. On the left leg this time, drop the left knee, drive the left knee. Drop, drive, drop, drive. Change. So left knee lunges. Step back on the left, drive the left knee up. Two. Yeah, as many good quick reps as you can do. Ten more seconds, back to our flutter kicks, working that lower part of the abs. Julie's doing great. Three, two, one, change. Again, yeah, looking up at the feet, nice quick, short little moves. That's good, excellent. Then yeah, back to our squat thrust. In five seconds, remember going as fast as you can with those legs, get his heart rate back up again. And change. That's good, ten more seconds. Back to our lunges. This time, static lunges, just right leg down and up. Just keep the feet in the same position. So, static lunges, change back to the right leg, going up and down, straight up and down. Keep the feet in the same position, going straight up and down. Okay, good, fast reps. Five more seconds, back to our flutter kicks. Three, two, one, change. Maybe kick it from the hips, so working this lower part of the abs. That's good. Small, fast movements. The lower the feet are to the floor, the harder it's going to work for your core. Good. Three, two, one. Squat for us. Change. Here we go. This is four down. One more to do. Very great. Again, speed with the legs. Fast legs. Fast legs. 
Good, five more seconds, then we go to left leg, static lunges. Go down and up on the left leg only. Change, make it the feet shoulder width apart. Drive that front foot into the floor, trying to get the rear knee as close to the floor as you can. That's great work. Five more seconds, and we're back into these flutter kicks. Three, two, one, change. Good, 10 more seconds. And we're into our last set of alternate squat thrusts. Three, two, one, change. So again, fast legs, fast legs, knees close to the floor, keeping the hips down. Speed with the legs. <clears throat> Let's go over. Toes touch the floor at the front and the back of the move. That's brilliant. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Great work. Okay, so you've got one minute rest. Not a minute left though. Um, and then our final set. So this time you're going to do reverse dips. So you need your bench to do this. Then when we do reverse dips, your hands point out that way. Okay, Julie's got an injury. She can't do that. So she's going to use the ball to do shoulder press with. Okay, so again, if you want to use your kit, you can do shoulder presses, lat raises, anything that's working the upper body really. So if you don't have any um, kit, it's mainly press ups, dips, and that pipe bridge are the only real ones we can really do for this. Uh, so if you've got a kit, use it in this. Do shoulder presses, raises, curls, anything you want. The okay, second exercise is mountain climbers. Okay, so like squat thrust, just nice and slow, uh, much slower. Just moving one leg at a time. If you want to make this harder, do this in the plank position, out to the side. Okay. So here we go, last one, five minutes, dig deep. So dips, shoulder press, or that raise first. Let's go. Any upper body exercise. You want to do more press ups, go crazy. You love press ups, especially during bullseye. Okay, five more seconds, we're into our mountain climbers. Remember, move one leg at a time. Three, two, one, change. To make it harder, hold the plank. To make it easier, hold the press up position. Doing this in the plank if the knees need to come out to the side. Okay, they won't, you won't bring, be able to bring them through the middle and keep the hips down. So knees come round the side. That's better. Good. Three, two, one. Sprints change. Remember, two, four, six, eight, ten, and drop. Two, four, six, eight, ten, drop. Good. Ten sprints, drop, touch the floor. Right hand down, right leg goes back. Okay, back to our upper body exercise. Three, two, one, change. Are we dips, press, raises, curls, press ups? Any upper body exercise. Ten more seconds, back to our mountain climbers. Remember, if you're doing these in the plank position, these will need to come out to the sides. You won't be able to bring these through the middle. And change, and keep the hips down. So I'm plank position, mountain climbers, or press up position, mountain climbers. That's good. Nice flat back, nice straight body. Okay, five seconds, back to our sprints. Three, two, one, change. So ten sprints, touch the floor. Ten sprints, touch the floor. Just go two, four, six, eight, ten, touch. Five more seconds, back to our any of upper body exercise. Three, two, one, change. Here we go, dips, if you don't have any kit, or press ups. Now if you're doing any upper body exercise, you're forcing the feet to the floor, slight bend in the knee, drive it up, so you work from the floor up. Good, five seconds, back to our mountain climbers. Three, two, one, change. Plank to position to make these harder, press up to the position to make this slightly easier. 
Do it in a press up position, make sure your knees are close to the floor. Plank position, knees come out to the side. So three seconds into our sprints. Change. That's great work. Ten sprints, touch the floor. Ten sprints, touch the floor. Good. Five seconds. Back to our upper body exercise. Three, two, one. Change. There you go. Presses, press ups, dips. Good. Ten more seconds. Back to mountain climbers. Good. Three, two, one. Change. That's great work. Knees coming out to the side if you're in the plank position. Again, perfectly demonstrated. Good. Three seconds, two, one. Sprint. Change. That's good. Knees up nice and hard. So knees up about halfway, going as fast as you can. Good. Ten sprints, touch the floor. Last time through. Three, two, one. Change into our upper body exercise. Presses, press ups, dips. It's great work this morning. So our last one through. So here we go. Last minute. Actually, that's 45 seconds. So five seconds. We're into our mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Change. Get a nice flat back, body straight. Knees coming around the side if you're in the plank position. Remember, tighten up the stomach muscles. Just engage your abs while you do this. Good. Five seconds. We're into our sprints. Three, two, one. Change. That's good. Ten sprints, touch the floor. Ten sprints, touch the floor. That's five. And rest there. Brilliant work this morning. Really good stuff. Well done, Julia. Thank you. Good <laughs> you did great. Hopefully Paul, the kids, the puppy you're watching at home. <laughs> Excellent work this morning, folks. We're doing a few stretches. And he can do it all again at half nine. And it's Claire's turn to be punished. I mean, even the star of the show. We're going to be for Preston Park. No. Really? Okay, so I'm going to do your stretches yeah, first, do your uh, hamstring stretch. Then we do this feet in line, half a step forward, both uh, all the way on the bent leg, sink back, lower the chest down. Body nice and straight. The front leg nice and straight, front leg locked out. Good. Standing up, change legs. Again, sink back so you feel the stretch in the back of the thighs and then lower the chest down. Good. Now standing up, do your quad stretch. Remember to grab hold of the foot. Bring the knees together. Push the hips through and push the foot into the hand at the same time. That's good. We're change legs. Gently push the hips through, push the foot into the hand to get a full stretch through the quads, not just at the top. Good, we're going to do a chest stretch. Remember this one, hands in the corner of the back. Fingers pointing it down, pull the shoulder blades back first. And then squeeze the elbows back together behind you. Uh, 
Okay, then, and the last one, do your shoulder stretch. So we've got our park circuits already out there at the moment. Our remembrance circuit, 11 exercises, 11 reps, and 1100 meter run. Just done 100 meter blocks. It's all on the Facebook group. There we go. All these sessions are put onto uh, YouTube, so if you want to do any of them again, you can.